Good afternoon, everyone. It's Rita here, and I just thought I'd turn the camera on when I do a little bit on the journal that I'm going to be making. I um, was working all morning on a project for my daughter, and um, I thought I'm just going to take a break and and start working on this journal. And um, I thought I'd just turn the camera on so I can share it with what I'm going to do. So. Um, to get started, I need to uh, pick some pages out. I have um, the My Porch Prints uh, Prayer Journal Kit, and I've used this a few times already. because um, I just really love the, the colors and the design, and this is the um, ephemera that comes with it. There's little, you know, journal cards and, um, I guess, pockets and things. Um, I found, you know, uses for all of them, and then that that's part of it, and then there's, um, um, what do you call those, um, tabs that um, you can print out and have tabs to match. Uh, here's some more little pockets or journal cards. There's quite a few items in the kit, so uh, there's another little tab. Uh, so, yeah, I had plenty of, here's some more little pockets. In fact, probably the last few times I've printed this out, I've had extras. Um, these are those little uh, banner type things where you can uh, put it at the top of the page and then stick something under it. Or maybe, I guess it could be a bookmark. Uh, there's like three of those. And then um, this one is just some uh, wording that um, you can enter here and there um, on your pockets and so forth. So that's kind of nice that those are they match, you know, the color matches. Uh, more little journey thing. Here's some uh, tick, uh, tags. Tags, tags. And then, of course, if you need more, you can always print, you know, a few extras of that size. So anyway, that that's pretty much her ephemera section of it. And then um, this is her pages, um, the journal pages. Now, um, some of these I, I um, double-sided. This is also pages that she has uh, in her her kit. It comes with it. I think there's um, actually four pages. There's this design, this design, this design, and this this design. Turn that over that way. Okay, so you get those four uh, designs. And what I did on those um, was I just uh, double-sided these, a few of them, not all of them, because um, I don't want everything printed on every side. I want to be able to use some sides for other for journaling. You know, you can't really journal on that. So that's um, so these are the pages upside down, and they're really pretty. Um, I really think that she did a nice job on this kit. Uh, she does uh, nice jobs on all of her kits, but. Now this one here is it says prayer journal, so this one I use and set aside for the cover, and I will probably um, put this on a cover. And I've in the past taken like a varnish and sprayed over it just to give it um, a little protection, a little sheen uh, on top of that. So when I go to make that um, cover, I'll put fabric and I will cut this out, probably a little smaller, you know, this this big and then um, add it in the front of the journal and then some um, other embellishments. So that page is usually I set aside. This one has some butterflies on it. Um, here's some, just a journaling page here. You could journal up in this area here if you wanted. Actually, these are two journal pages as well. They've got the lines on it. Um, just another page with some, here's a plain, page for journaling, another journal page. I Oh, I know, I printed this on cardstock. I did print it uh, once on regular uh, copy paper. And the copy paper I use, let me, I put that up here. Let me see if I can find it again. Oh, here it is. I use this um, hammer mill. It's uh, 24 pound and it, I get it on um, Amazon. And this color is cream, which is what I like. This um, sort of a, you know, off-white, but not yellow, not uh, tan. It's just a, a cream color. And um, 
I wanted to share that with you because I've been thinking about it and keep forgetting. But it's hammer mill and it's 24 pound weight. Uh, it's 90 grams uh, if you're, I guess, in the um, UK or whatever. I think that's what that means. But anyway, uh, I know uh, some people want to know what kind of paper. And this one here is a cream cardstock from Hobby Lobby. And it's, to, it's their regular weight um, Hobby Lobby cream. I guess I kind of messed up the printing there, so hopefully I could still cut that out and use it. And this I'll, I'll put on the back side of the book. So that's for those papers. And then I thought, okay, well, I had bought this little notebook the other day. I remember showing um, on my last video. I think it was the last video. So I thought I'd take like, oh, I thought I was going to be able to take pages out. I thought I'd take three of those out. I probably will make three signatures. And I also can use this paper um, to make a little notebook to put in it or to back uh, the um, journal cards. And then I pulled these out. These I was for my thrift haul, that big um, book. I don't know if I'll put it in or not. I don't know if it's going to fit nicely in the... Um, you know the style of journal that it is, but I kind of wanted to use some of this old book page, and it was uh, hard to get out, but these were just the one little section. Here's the string, and I think it was, the the problem was it was um, bound with the string, but it was very deep in the book, um, and then also I think it was glued to the, the spine. So anyway, I did get a few pages out, and um, I'll use them for something else if I don't use them on this. And I pulled out, oh, let me show you these two I got. These are from, um, I don't know if I'll use them or not. This is from Taylor Made Journals. Um, she does, I think it's called European Letters. And what she does is she, um, I printed some of this size, I have different sizes, but she does the, the front of the envelope and then she also does the back of the envelope so you get the front and the back and I think that I saw someone do was make pockets out of, out of this and then you have like you know an old envelope and then I, I this was another one see how it's really cool but I didn't I don't think I printed all of them there's more on there than this these three but I just um, printed out three of them at the, right now and then I also uh, printed out she has a little cover sheet when she when you buy a, a uh, file from her and the little cover sheet has these little tiny um, images of what she's what the whole uh, design is so I cut these out because I think they make the cutest little um, collage pieces or you know stamps or things like that so don't not print those print them they're really cute um, if you picked up this um, digital kit these are all of them so you get to see all of them and I mean like this one was real dark so I probably won't print that not not anytime soon but I might and then um, these little tiny ones here then I printed this size um, and uh, I thought, well, I'm not sure what I'll use these for, but um, maybe just little tucks or something. Um, then I, because I wasn't even sure what how they were going to come out this size, but they're kind of cute. They're just little. I might find something, and I I've got four of each because that's the way my printer. I have it print four on a page, four on a page, and then this one is the same one also, but it's a little bigger. I think uh, this is a three by five, and these are. The real tiny ones or not three by five but three and a half by three or something anyway I just wanted to show you those oh there's another little one they just make the cutest little collage things kind of um, fun okay so I may use those in that journal because I think they kind of relate to it then we have our trusty old 1962 um, desk diary and I'll probably take a few pages out of there. Let's see, what is today's date? Today is September 25th, I think. Calendar. 
I was always going to keep track on oh, September 24th. I was going to keep track of the uh, dates, but I never do. Okay, so September 24th is this one. Since that's the... I'll take that and I'll take this side. And I will put those together with a washi tape. So that'll go into one of the... Um, And I also need some of these hems. And I don't know, there's just so many to pick from. They're all beautiful and wonderful. Um, anyway, um, let's see, can I, there I can get those out. Get some little scissors. Cut these out so I don't have to Sew the pages together, or not sew them, but so I'll probably put three of these in, one in each. I, I probably will do three signatures. And this um, journal too will be smaller um, in size. It will be just this size, which is let's see what this is. Let me rip this while I'm. Um, let me get one of these pages and I'll just rip it and then I, I can measure the size. So I hope everyone had a good day yesterday. We had good weather. Uh, my mom fell and hurt herself, her foot, and um, bruised her arm. At five o'clock in the morning, she called me and said she couldn't get up. So my brother lives with my mom uh, so that she's not alone. And of course he's sleeping in his room and she evidently was yelling for him, but he didn't hear her. So she only knows my number by heart, really. So she called him. I called him and said, hey, mom fell down. You need to go pick her up. She seemed to be okay, but. We were going to take her to the um, clinic, and you know it is not easy um, these days with the with the virus. There, everything is so hard to get in, and uh, we were going to do the med clinic thing where you you know call the doctor calls, and they were closed. I mean, how do you close one of those? But anyway, I'm not going to go on about it. But she's fine. So, okay, this is a 10 inch by seven, 10 by seven. So it's really a kind of a small compact journal. But again, it's, it's a nice one to handle if you're going, if you're using it, if you are going to church or something and you want to take it or you want to go to Bible study, um, you know, you don't have this great big huge um, book to carry with you. Now, the last one I made, actually the last um, couple I made, I didn't sew the signatures in. I just ran the ribbon through the signatures. I'm not sure if I want to do that again. It's, it's very loose when you do that, but you can take the pages in and out if that's something that you would prefer to do. But anyway, so we have five by seven, this, this uh, journal. So these will have to be cut down. Everything's going to have to be cut down. So probably just cut the bottom part of this off so that we have the top, the uh, name of the song that's on there. And then um, I have coffee dyed papers. I don't know, I have a sort of a coffee dyed um, doily here. And then I have some of this plain dotted paper, coffee dyed. I'll be able to fold those going that direction maybe more this needs to be pressed ironed here's a piece coffee dyed that I coffee dyed I made some avocado dyed this morning I didn't needed enough avocados to boil them and you just boil them until you could see that the liquid is sort of a pinkish color and then you just turn it off then I'll have to strain them uh, which you can do through your 
uh, cheesecloth, and then you've got pink cheesecloth. More coffee dyed. And then I've got, these are avocado dyed, but I'm running out of avocado dyed stuff, so I, that's what I was gonna make some more. Those are two doilies there. This is a piece of vellum that's just a white dot. That might be nice. This is for um, the backs. I use this uh, line paper to do the backs of uh, tags and journal cards. This is stationery paper that I uh, avocado dyed. This is more avocado dye here. I don't know how many pieces I'm gonna put in. I'm just pulling them out in case. Now this was that old ledger book that I had and I thought I might put a couple pages of that in there. Not, maybe just one, I don't know. This is um, kind of a different texture and color. But, um, and then I have this coffee dyed envelope and I was watching on um, Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. She, she count, no, not Tina, I'm sorry. Uh, Roxy from, Rox, uh, Rachel from Roxy Creations. She does like, she'll count this as a page and then she will decorate this and put it in as a page. So um, I thought maybe I, I might do something like that. And that is um, pretty much it um, for now because I can't do anything until I cut all these to size. Um, now I, I kind of prefer to rip my or use my ruler, um, but there are people who use their, um, their uh, ruler like this, a metal ruler, and then they take their X-Acto knife, which um, mine is not very sharp. I've got to go get new blades for all that. When I was working this morning, I was having a hard, whoops. It's a good idea if you go right next to it. But you can cut your, oops. Like I said, this is not very sharp. And it's so funny how sh paper dolls everything so quickly. Whoops. I'm blind also. But you can cut it that way if you don't have a paper cutter or you don't want to have any kind of like a raggedy edge. You have to have a mat like I have. Oh my gosh. Can't move it. So I think I might have showed this before on another uh, video. But I guess it doesn't hurt to show it again. And I wouldn't suggest this with a plastic ruler because it really will cut into your plastic. Whoops. Why does it do that? I probably have a cut my mat already. Even though these are self-healing, sometimes they get a ridge in them and they don't heal. Anyway, so there's another page. And I'll probably sew some pages together. Um, like I'll take this page and I'll sew it with um, like this page or something. Not this one probably, but I like to do that for like my covers of my signatures, each signature set. I like to have that. And then that's usually the page that I also sew um, the lace onto the edge because, um, yeah, I really want to use this. This is so beautiful. Um, yeah, I usually um, sew it on because then it's a lot sturdier to, to hold your lace than just one sheet of paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I just love this. This was um, from an antique mall in Michigan where my sister lives and um, it was 350, but I, I think I should be able to get a lot, quite a bit of use out of it. And it's just so vintagey looking and it's not from Hobby Lobby, so that's fun. And um, then you can cut with your paper cutter if you want. You can cut pages. Um, just cut a, one here while I've got it out. Um, it's a little harder for me to cut with this because I can't really see. I tend to cut off too much off the page. At least. 
least um, until I can get a, a good edge to follow. Even that one's not that straight. I don't know why that is. I, I don't know, maybe it's my paper cutter that's crooked, not me. There's another page that's ready to go. It doesn't take very long, and then you, you know, sort the pages out, and then start working on what you're going to do for the ephemera. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I thought I'd make another one of those pockets that we made that um, a while back, where you fold the, and I don't have any. Um, Usually I print some paper. I don't know. I might have one in here. Um, miscellaneous paper. Let's see. What would look good? This might. I don't know if I need double-sided paper. I'm trying to remember now. I'll have to remember how I did that. I think it was something like this. Now I have to go back and revisit how I did it. Um... I think it was, oh, I know. I think it was this way we did. Like that. Then we went back to the middle here. And then back to here. But see, I remember now that I did it on two-sided paper because when you fold these back or fold these in like this, yeah. So I need to... Um, do a double-sided paper instead of this way. This is scrapbook paper. It's pretty. Huh. So anyway, maybe I'll make one of those um, the next video. After, and then I'll, in the meantime, I'll get all these pages ready to go. So that's it. Yeah, it's a short, short one today. I was going to show you. This is what um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is what I was doing this morning um, and it was frustrated because I was doing it in gold for my daughter she's having a she is helping with the wedding that um, there it's a Halloween kind of wedding not Halloween wedding but it's around Halloween so um, they wanted everything to be pertaining to the Halloween um, design so but this one I'm going to put in my shop because I did that on with white. And then, I don't know if this will show very well. But this is um, what I do when um, I get uh, orders from the shop. It's um, the people's name and then their last name and then the established date, 2020. So if anybody, you know, is interested in making something like that, it's really simple. You just... Of course, you. this is not glued on, but you need like a Cricut or a cutting machine to do it, I guess. Or you could probably buy lettering, and you can stencil it. I used to actually uh, cut out these in a stencil, and then I would paint with the stencil, but I found that it just is very time-consuming, and, you know, I don't sell these for a lot of money, so, but this works good. Her colors are this teal and navy blue. So anyway, um, that's it for today. I just thought I'd share that with you, uh, show and tell. So have a great day, and I will see you soon. Thank you.